So in under five minutes, I'm going to show you a really good way of recording your expenses. There's lots of different ways that you can do it, but this way will work with most um, businesses. It's a monthly way of recording it. Got three, uh, four tabs actually, bank transactions, cash transactions, deposits, and a summary. First tab, bank statement transactions. You will copy and paste your bank statement in this gap here. If you need more lines, obviously insert them at the side. This column, receipt or invoice, do you have a physical copy of a receipt or invoice? If you do, then pop in yes. If you don't, then it might be that you have to find it. It could be you've bought something off Amazon and you haven't printed off the receipt yet. Not applicable is where it's a direct debit. It's something that comes out monthly. Uh, you don't have a receipt each month. The check number, you can use this column if you like. It's a really good way of recording where things um are coming from so is it a direct debit did you pay by card was it a check etc what's the number total amount again you paste this in from your bank statement if you've got that if you're that registered then you can see the formula in here 0.175 and then you would drag put it in the top and then drag it down to the other columns if it's something you don't pay that on then obviously you just delete it just take it out and leave it that way. Um, if you don't pay that then just take that column out as well and as you can see it's being summarized at the bottom. Over here you've got different things that you might have spent money on utilities, travel, parking, insurance, advertising etc. You just put in which ones that you would particularly use and it summarizes at the bottom. This is a really good way of seeing what you're spending your money on. You might decide that you want to change suppliers or um, utilities based on these figures. Another good thing to do is say here with your rent, if it was ABC Properties for example, what you do is you'd write on the uh, corner of the invoice number 12 because that is the line that it's on. It's a really good way of being able to check later. And again on invoices, write how much you paid, um, how you paid, when you paid it and a check number if applicable. Cash transactions, exactly the same, uh, but you would physically write these in from your receipts. Date, what it is, how much it is, you can put in a VAT uh, column if you like. And then again, you break down what you've spent the money on so you can see how much you're spending each, uh, each month. Deposits, money in. Uh, the date, it might be that you've paid money in, you might be a cafe and you've actually paid cash in. It could be a refund from um, a utility or a shop. It might be money that's been paid in by a client that you've done work for as well with the reference here. Again, try and break down how much is sales and what is say a refund or other so you know how much um, you're getting in for your business too. Again, you can add a VAT column here if you need to. Summary. This is a really simple one. I've literally just done what I've paid for on my card or what's come out of my bank. Uh, cash payments here total spent and how much has gone in. You don't have to actually physically put the amount in here as well. What you do is you would um, go to the box that you need, go to auto sum, go to bank transactions, total, click here, enter, it puts the amount in for you. Same here, this is adding them up and then this is minusing them away. So you've got um, lots of different ways that you can do your accounts but this is a really simple way that will work for many people and is quite easy, shouldn't take you too much time to do.